Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and recently on my Instagram stories, I showed this holographic foil on acetate. This one is actually a cupcake. It's a stamp that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And here is another example. Let's put it on something dark so you can see it a little better. This one is a stamp that I got from Hobby Lobby. And everyone, I think it was on clearance for $2. Everyone wants to know, wanted to know how I did this, what ink did I use. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did it. This is, by the way, a pocket rings from Mystic's Little Gifts. I did not use ink. I did not use, it's not printable acetate. So I didn't use an inkjet printer or a laser printer. I used my rubber stamps. And when doing this, I suggest you use a bigger design. Nothing too small or intricate. Again, these three stamps are from the Dollar Tree. And I think they would work great. I'm not so sure about this heart because of the detail on the inside. It may work. I'm not sure. And then I also use... Duralar. This will not, this is an acetate alternative, according to them. <laughs> I would not recommend using just the regular acetate that you buy from Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joann. I wouldn't recommend that unless it says that it is heat resistant. Duralar is heat resistant, it's also tear resistant. Um, and I use it quite a bit as acetate. You cannot print on it either by the way. So I haven't tried because I don't want to mess up my printer and I'll take their word for it. They say don't print on it. So, so I'm just going to work with a few scrap pieces that I have here. Um, my laminator is already heating up. Oh and I also have these wood stamps from the bullseye spot at Target. So again, some of these are a little detailed. I really want to do something with the eyelashes and the lips. So I may try that first. Let's try the lips. Okay, so what I use to do this is Heidi Swap's Magic Medium. I have it listed in my Amazon Influencer Shop, so it should be easy for you to find. And I also have the Duralar listed there as well. After a little further research, I think I don't need the laminator with this. I'm not sure, but on the examples that I showed you, I did use the laminator. Um, and I also did a little more research and found that possibly things like rubber cement or any glue that remains tacky after it dries, if it, it still has a stickiness to it after it dries, should work to do this. So I'm not sure when I originally did my research to find a way to foil without using toner, this is what came up. I'm not sure that there's anything that special about this. So, I mean, if you have a white glue that remains tacky or any glue that remains tacky after it dries, you can use that and try it just to see if it works and then you don't need to buy anything new. So I'm going to start with the Magic Medium and what I did was just take a brush because I didn't want to waste any pouring it into a container that will eventually dry up. So I just took a little paint brush and painted it on on my first try which was the cupcake which is here so that one I painted I painted the medium on there and then on the other one which was the ooh la la I use a makeup sponge from Dollar Tree to just dab the product on to the stamp so here's my sponge I think I'm going to use the sponge method. I think I like that better. It's just a little easier to put it on, but you can use either one depending on what works better for you. Um, and what I did was just take the tail of the brush and kind of 
rub that into the sponge a little bit so that it wouldn't just puddle around the stamp or puddle into the stamp and I'm going to add a little bit more because I want to be able to see it on there just to make sure that I've got all the spaces and you kind of have to work fast because this does dry pretty quickly but again if it stays tacky it should be okay I might be taking a little longer than necessary because I've not done this that much so I'm just going to stamp this on my Duralar and it slid and I didn't get a clean stamp but I'm gonna leave it <laughs> And let's just try another one. So you probably want to practice with this a little bit before you just dive in. And see, this is what I mean. I don't want it to <clears throat> get too much onto the um, outside rubber. So, and you kind of want it to maybe dry a little bit. That way, it won't slip get just a little tacky that one was even worse let's try again okay so it could be this way the stamp is made let's go ahead and put some foil on it okay so I'm just since this was kind of a fail a little bit. I'm just going to use this scrap piece of foil that's seen better days and show you. So I'm just going to place that on there. And I'm rubbing on it this time just to see if I actually need to run this through the laminator to get it to work or if it just works with the dry glue. Okay, I'm going to say no, it does not just work with the dry glue. You do need to run, if you're using the magic medium, you do need to run this through the laminator for it to actually adhere. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we go. Now remember this is just an old battered piece of foil. I didn't get clean stamps but it did work. Oh, let's do it this way. So if you can get a good clean stamp <laughs> you can make this work. I think the hollow looks better than the um, the kind of matte gold color but again it works. Let's try another one. Is this big enough for the hearts? Hmm, maybe not. Let's do the flowers. And we'll do the hollow this time. So, let's put a little of the medium on the sponge. And this is water um, soluble, so after I finish with these, I'll be making a dash to the sink to scrub them up to get this off. Just let that dry just a little bit. And just give it a go. We still want to line this up so that 
we stay on the acetate as much as possible. Okay, so while that's drying just a little bit, I'm also going to try one of these. These are a little, these are clear stamps and I have not tried a clear stamp with this yet. I've only uh, done the block stamps. So let's try a clear one real quick. There it is. Block. Let's put it on the block. I probably don't need any more on this sponge. But just in case. And that's what it looks like. Okay. Okay, probably put too much on there, but I'm gonna go clean these up real quick and then I'll be back. Let these dry for a second. I'll be back and run them through the laminator. Okay, so it's been about two or three minutes. Um, as you can see, this is pretty much dry. I washed my stamps and everything. Let's put everything back. Okay, so now I'm going to take a piece of the hollow. I don't want to waste any, so I'm going to cut this in half. So I think I can use it for both of these. Maybe. Fingers crossed. So set that one right there. Set that one right there. And let's put it in this piece of copy paper just to keep it safe while it's going through the laminator and let's take it out So I think it's just the way that the medium works, it always has like that brushed look. I think it's also the way that it kind of spreads when you stamp it. So it's not going to have fine lines, but I mean it's really pretty and it does work. So I would imagine that you can do this with stencils, um, hand lettering, really any technique you want with the magic medium. I mean, if this works with it or the tacky, sticky, dry glues work with it, you could use it for anything. So I'm going to go ahead and try it with a stencil just to see. I mean, I'm only using a small space, but we'll just see if it works. And I'm just dabbing it into the spaces, not using too much because I don't want it to leak under the stencil. And I may have used too much. I don't know. This is the first try. 
but that's what it looks like. This is going to be hard to really see any result since it is so small. But we're going to do it anyway. And that's mostly dry, so I'm just going to place this on here. Uh, it's not covering the whole thing. There we go. And run it through. I know it's not perfect, <laughs> but we just want to see how it comes out. And also, while that's running through, you don't have to, I mean, it's not specific to uh, acetate. You can use this on paper or anything that you can safely run through the laminator. Um, I just particularly wanted to try it on acet uh, acetate because it's just something I hadn't seen and I wondered why. And so I set out to figure out how to do it. And so let's peel this off. So it does work. I probably could have done a better job of applying the adhesive to it, but it does work. So there you have it. That is how you can add foil to your acetate using stamp. You can use a stencil or you can do it by hand. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.